Hi guys, I'm here with Chris from Plastic Soldier Company. You probably recognize that from the games out front. So, uh, Chris, first of all, we're going to talk a bit about um, Mortem Eglorium and uh, Battle Group. Yep. What is it you do at Plastic Soldier Company? So, I, mean, I know you're here at yeah, yeah. So, yeah, today. Part, part of it is coming to the shows and selling some products to people. Yeah. But my main role is to uh, make the Sirecast uh, kits that we do. So um, I make the moulds, I do the injection moulding and I do the packing and part of that is improving the quality of the product that we've had. Some of the stuff we are early, some of the early stuff we did you didn't get so many poses, yeah. you didn't get so much thing but as we've got more confident with it the quality's improved so there's less cleaning up to do and you're getting, you know, these are Corvus Belly which we do under licence. Yeah. So you're getting far more of the range, you're getting all the poses for example there's some guys like these, which wouldn't have been in the pack we were putting out a year ago, but they're in there now because, we re because they were difficult to cast. Right, but as you're getting more, as we get more experience. That, I mean, if we're being brutally honest, it's talking to these guys at home. Yep. Some may, may have had Sire Cast. You yeah. by far not. You're not the only company using it. No, no, no. It. I understand. A lot of people, and they maybe had some stuff that they were less than satisfied yep. with. Let's, yep. let's be true. Not just from you, from everyone. Yep. But this is a fairly new technology to, fairly to new. the industry, yep. and you you say with a degree of confidence that if someone had a, something that was dodgy a year ago. They see what they're if getting they, now, yeah. it's really different. Yeah, for two reasons, because we've remade the moulds, we've been bolded with what we're putting in the packs, the packs are better, mm -hmm. um, and we're also using a slightly harder plastic now, right. which is the main, we, main thing. We heard from Battlefront, they're similarly, yes. they've, they've chucked out a load of product yep. to get it made with a new material. Same process, but new That's material. It. Yeah, and the new material just means, because it's slightly harder, it's, it's much easier to clean them up with a scalpel. You haven't got some of the issues that you talked about earlier. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they're, they're the, it just improves it improves the product 100% really. So, so someone looking at getting into 15 mil inch that's never touched it before, this is one of the big appeals about what you're doing yep. is you're going to get a lot of figure for your money here, right? Yeah, you do. So in this early Imperial Starter Roman Army, yep. you've got it listed. Is that the retail for that's, that, quid? that's actually a show price. It's probably more likely 40 quid retail. More like 40 quid, but in here you've got how many figures? So you get, uh, so you've got 15 mounted figures. Uh, so you get th you get commanders, foot command, three mounted command, fourteen veteran legionaries, twenty eight legionary infantry, fourteen auxiliaries, and twelve cavalry. So and, it's, and is that an army in your yes. system? So which is the other point about that? That yeah, is an army. That is an army. So if you go across to Mortimer Glory, Mortimer Glory has got can be played in three sizes. Right. So the the, ma the the maximum, the biggest size is called Maximus. So that's where okay, the yeah. tables that you'll see here. They're all playing maximum. There's 10,000 points, and it's probably two or three boxes worth of these. Right. The, the but that's still only 120 quid for the maximum, maximum size, size of your army. Game. For the biggest size army. Yeah. But the at the smallest level, this can be played as Pacto, which is exactly the same game, just scaled down. Yep. And that is a whole army for Pacto. Right. So you'll see some tables over there with guys playing the smaller version of the game. Mm -hmm. So all of the kits that we do like this, you buy one of those, you buy that, you're away. You've got the whole army you need, the list has been pre-written, uh, which you can get online, mm -hmm. and you can play with that army straight away. Then what we subsequently started to do is we started to release uh, smaller unit packs and pack breakers. Mm -hmm. The pack breakers are great because we're building in other 15 millimeter guys that are playing other systems. Right. They can buy specific units that they need yeah, to yeah. make up their army. So the idea being is that people start at Pacto, I think that's the, the general idea. Yeah. They get going, and then, then they expand on packs. that. And before you know it, they're they're yeah. they're at a tournament all weekend playing four games with a ten thousand point army. So the so game system, Martin and Gloria. Yes. Tell, tell, uh, tell me how it plays. Give me a, a, as a broad. So things I like about this is uh, you know in general games you go I go kind of thing. Yeah. With with this you have a, a command. Um, it's, it's cards that you generate a pool of cards, right? Um, which you use to command each one of your generals. Right. And your generals can be at the very best. So I don't know, Julius Caesar would be a legendary general. So his status would be legendary. That means mm -hmm. he gets more cards. Yeah. And yep. at the very lowest end, you have uh, mediocre generals, which get yep. two cards. Minimus Maximus. That's the idea. But you yep. see, so that's all built. You build that build into your army. Yeah. Do I want to be really well led? Do I want? And there's a point system behind this. So point, all driven by points. points. Yes. All driven by points system. Yeah. yeah. Um, but what that means then is that 
based on your generals, you get uh, an amount of cards. With those cards, they'll command each one of their units, or they'll command right. their units under their command. Um, but what I quite like is that it's fairly interactive between you and your opponent. So if it is actually your turn, you get to do everything first, but you only get it to do first with one of your command cards. Right. So, uh, so, so it, it swaps. Within a turn, I move a like unit, that. then you maybe yes. move two, then I move one, then That's you maybe it. move That's one. That's it. So depending on, like, I might go, if it was my go, I'm going to move this unit, you'd move this unit, I'd move this. And that's how it goes until you've exhausted yeah, all your... Yeah, it's got quite a modern feel yeah, to it. it's kind of good. Even like, though it's a mass battle yes. ancient game. Yes. All right. Now, a game that we have, that we do a lot of World War II on our channel. So I was going to say, yes. you've got a new supplement out here. This, for uh, Battle Group. For Battle Group West Wall. So Battle Group is our uh, bread and butter at Plastic. Soldier Company. It's it, we, this we, is where the 15 mil kits. 15 mil, 20 mil. Well, 20 mil is the. It's sort of like the classic. Oh, right, okay. Group, yeah. 172. Which is the old, like yeah, the old scale school guys. Yeah, and we do yeah. a big range of those kind of models. Yeah. We do a lot of 15 millimeter as well. Mm -hmm. So it's played in those two scales, uh, uh, and we do a series of campaign books. Uh, this is the latest one. West Wall, very late war. Uh, border autumn 1944 but we do the whole thing all the way through from blitzkrieg so in fairness we are going from um, plato right up to nato because <laughs> we're doing cold war as well <laughs> yeah because it has something about the rhino yes got yes this, we've uh, got um yeah we've got the whole lot i forget what it's called but you're modern we do north Ag, north Ag, which is out of the same stable as the guys that do this and scale wise so how many how many models does someone need if uh, they want this to play isn't that route? great not that many you probably you can get away with anything, actually. You can play really, really small squad type games or, or larger tables of thing. You're talking, I don't know, for this, maybe five or six fighting vehicles and 30 infantry guys, that sort of area. Yeah. That kind of thing. Um, maybe maybe um, company level at a push, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, I think the answer is probably no, because you've got a lot of it covered already. I mean, for us, we play a lot of Flames of War, for yep. example, on our channel, and we play Bolt Action. Yep. Is there anything coming, you know, whether for 15 mil or 25 mil World War II? Mm -hmm. that, I mean, you've already got a pretty extensive range. Is there anything coming out in plastic in the near future? Uh, for, for, for this. For, for this. Yeah, but lo loads, yeah. I I'm not exactly sure what pla hard plastic kits are coming out. My boss would only be the person to ask. Right, that. right. And he maybe wouldn't let you tell us anyway. Yeah, but with the Sirecast, we do do uh, a range of 20 millimeter Adler miniatures, in fact, which are here. Oh, right, you know, right. Adler. Yeah. So Adler do a range of 20 millimeter miniatures, and we've done a few of his ranges uh, for him or, or with him, working with him in Sirecast as well. So if you fancy the old school hit of playing 170 seconds, struck 20 mil, this is these it. guys have a massive range of it. We do. All right, thank you for your time, right, guys. Brilliant.